Hi everyone, welcome to the November 2018 edition of Farsight's Time Cross Project. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Courtney Brown, director of the Farsight Institute. Now I'm sorry we were a few days late in posting this video. We have a new remote viewer to introduce you today, someone who has just completed six months of full-time intensive training, and she was working on the incredible mysteries project that we have for you that you will see in just a minute, so hold on tight. The Denver International Airport. There is a huge mystery, or rather a set of mysteries, regarding that airport. There are lots of stories about strange things for that airport. Now, some of the artwork around the airport has been said to be associated with cults. The Illuminati is said to be involved. I have heard that there are tunnels underneath that airport that house high-speed rail that connects with secret locations all over the country, and that these are specifically purposed for use with the highest political, economic, and military elite. I have heard that there are plans for when there is a global collapse, the royalty of England will land at that airport and be taken with these transport services to secret locations for safe haven and there are reportedly alien activities involved with that airport. The list goes on. So much has been said about that airport, I decided that it was a good idea to do a project specifically on that airport. Now here is the exact target queue. The Denver International Airport, D-E-N, or commonly D-I-A. Most secret and or hidden transportation related facilities at the airport or underneath the airport. What you are watching now is what we found out. And as you will soon see, we found out a lot. We know what is hidden there. We have three remote viewing reports for you today, conducted by some of the best and most highly trained remote viewers on the planet. Starting with Princess Janae and then Melina Hall, and finally, Kamaya Dunson. This is what has been hidden from so many for so long. Three, zero, four, five, zero, zero, seven, eight. Here I have a structure and subjects and land. Um, very, very level base surface. I, I seem to have some mountains here all around me in the background. Um, very cool temperatures. I see a lot of flying structures in the air emitting energetics. Um, some foliage. There's foliage on the ground here. And a very, very large structure. It kind of has like a tent-like feel to it. It's peaked here like a circus tent almost on the outside. Um, and it has, again, multiple peaks here. And in my background, it, it almost makes gives me the feeling of, of the Rocky Mountains here. Um, I, and I'm seeing more and more non-surface structures. They're just moving so fast here. Um, and and they, they kind of remind me of jets, gray in color, uh, silver, white. I, I also have some water nearby, but it's not a very dominant element. Um, my subjects here, I'm, I'm hearing, trying to, to, to pinpoint more of the subjects here, I'm hearing English accents, and um, some have other accents here, it's like a, a blend, a mixture of accents here, but I still hear English, and they sound a little foreign, almost. Um, we have a farsight procedure called Ndani, um, that's going to help me to go inside the target and, and see what's going on. There are a lot of subjects here. There are like security personnel, um, it's dark, dark clothing, Caucasian, uh, pale skin color. Um, I'm, 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 I find myself walking down this uh, very, very long path here uh, with uh, walls on the sides, on both sides of me. I feel almost closed in uh, just, just really long hallway uh, or path 
of some sort. Uh, I, uh, this place feels very secretive. I feel like I am in like a jewelry heist or something. Um, it it almost feels like I'm snooping and, and it's not supposed to be happening. I'm not supposed to be where I am. I kind of feel like I'm breaking the rules. Um, I'm inside some place now. It's, 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 uh, there's a short man with, uh, with dark hair. Um, I'm hearing rustling sounds, paper, boxes, movement, um, just rustling just the sound those those sounds like moving and rummaging through something um there are a lot of boxes here in this in here uh hardwood floors uh you can hear um you can hear me walking on the floor it, it sounds like the the echo of walking um of walking in a empty place with a like a very quiet place with hardwood floors that echo that you hear when you're walking on the ground. Um, there are a lot of tables here and chairs, lights. I'm, I'm seeing lights here now. Uh, some some object here looks kind of like a a boomerang. It's got this the shape here to it, uh, kind of like a boomerang here, or like a weird. Um, I'm not sure what it what it is here. This this is a very secret room. No one, no one is supposed to be here. No, not too many people know about this. I feel like very select few people know about this entire place here. Um, I, I I see these things that that look almost like trophies or action figures or. Barbie dolls, something, the very, very um, figurines here, just, they look like little people, like little statues almost, um, maybe. There, there's something like a cell with bars um, over here, cage-like, it reminds me of a cage. This, this place looks like a Barbie doll toy factory or something, uh, it's, it's, it's odd. It's something I've never really seen anything like this before. Again, it's just all these little little people just here. A um, lot of small items with fake amenities. This, this kind of reminds me, makes me feel like I'm in a haunted house or haunted mansion. Uh, it gives me the feel of the house on Beauty and the Beast. I'm gonna move to the center, the general center of the target here. Um, Going here, there's a lot of people um, moving around in all directions. It's uh, like a airport or something here. I see something with circles in it. Uh, it it's, it it's got circles like a spinning top or the blades of a large engine or something. Uh, it just spins and it spins and it's got these different circles in, in it here. Um, the target seems to have a very public, to be a very public place, but with a lot of people, and then it's like there's private places with few people. So it's like within this place, there's little secret passages or something rather uh, where that a lot of people don't know about. It's, it's like located in the center of something where you'll see millions of people, but this one place here only like I will say like five people know about. Um, there, there are a lot of weird items in this little private room here. Uh, very few people, lots of circles, like I said with the little tops, um, cubes, cube-like boxes, books, walls with bars, it's just, like, I don't want to be caught alone in this place. I feel like I'm going to get captured or something. It's very, um, it's very, it's, it's a very unique type of place here. Uh, solid colors, grays, browns, dark, dark rooms. It's not lit. It's very dim. It is, um, it's just, like, do they shrink people and turn them into little dolls 
or I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know where this is. This is odd for something like this to be in such a public environment. Today I will be exploring Target 51552345. I'm getting a level topography flat surface. Mm. I'm also seeing subjects here. I'm getting heavy man-made smells, like lots of, lots of exhaust smells here. I'm also seeing structures in front of where I'm at, where the subjects are standing. And cloud dynamics here. <sighs> I'm hearing a lot of noises up above. Um, let's find where those noises are coming from. So here in my first visual, I'm getting a large object. The inside of this object has rows. And I'm also seeing subjects inside here. So there are subjects inside this object. This non-surface object is definitely moving fast down. Um, and there are subjects inside here. And the surface below here is have a man-made surface. Subjects are there and still structures here. I'm getting flat topography structures as the object is going down. And it feels like a magnetic force there too as well. So it feels like something is pulling it down. Um, so for my third visual, I have my non-surface structure going downward towards the ground and there are also structures around here. So here's what my next visual, I'm getting three subjects here. Um, baggy, uniform attire, uh, walls between them. It seems like they're deep in the dense area down ground. So for my last visual for this target, I see an um, object here. Seems like a walk-in type of structure. Very, it's, it's shaped oddly. I'm getting also a non-surface structure next to it. This is deep underground area where I'm at, so a lot of things are down under this whole surface I'm under. Um, there's also things on the ground like man-made materials or like just a f just stuff on the ground where I'm at and it's just very dark here not necessarily light this is under the ground so it's it's pretty much um, an area of broken things and damaged structures and it's different here so and that's what I have for this Target. And this was Target 51552345. That's all I got. Oh my God, no. Uh, Today we'll be exploring Target 33219135. So 
my basic gestalts here are land, structures, movement, and subjects. So I have a base surface here. It has a regular topography, um, but it's like all land. I don't feel any water here at this target. I have like a non-surface structure here, and then it's kind of, it looks like it's kind of over this larger surface structure, and then there's like maybe like another smaller surface structure um, here as well. Um, and the, this is not a city, but I f can feel that there's a city nearby. Oh, it kind of looks like this. Okay, so here I'm, I'm getting these feelings of like energetics. There's like smoke nearby. And I feel like a lot of um, directional movement here as well. And I see like a, some, some foliage or something that looks like foliage here. And I can also sense this there's like fire and heat up in the sky here as well. And um, all I can really hear are like, like sounds of like roaring, like loud roaring and booming noises. So here I see my subjects. There's only like a couple of them, maybe like two or three. And I see them like walking around outside um, th this main structure here. Um, and I can hear, I can hear them talking, but like indistinctly, I don't really hear any like shouting or anything like that, just normal talking. And I can hear just um, like plane sounds in the sky or something that sounds like um, planes in the sky. And all I can see are like, um, like dark colors of like grays and blues here. And it kind of, it kind of smells like a dentist office in here too. And, and it, and it, is just like boring. Like dentist offices are boring. I can just feel it smells and feels just like a very boring and place to be in. Um, you know, all, all I can see is just like some doorways, like some furniture, chairs here. You know, maybe like the, the one or two subjects, but like really other than that, it's like nothing's going on here. Absolutely nothing. Um, so now I think I'm gonna move further down into this target with a procedure called Indani. Okay, now I kind of hear like sounds of pulsing um, and like, constant plane noises, just pulsing planes. And I hear like whistling sounds, kind of like pew, whistles, you know, like that. And it feels like, it feels like there's like nothing here, but there's something here. Like it, I feel like I'm alone, but I'm not alone. And all I can see are just like these, the same shapes over and over again. Um, they kind of look like this. And then like something, like another shape that I keep seeing is like, shapes like this, like little little gumdrop candies, and I keep seeing um, like structures that look like little like little huts like this. I keep seeing these shapes here. 
so now it's it's like pitch black and I, and I feel like I'm inside this structure um, and and inside this structure it's quiet and it's it feels like maybe it's like someone's home it just feels like you know there's nothing special about this place it's just some furniture here you know some doorways there's there's nothing there's nothing here and now like this it the place is is starting to look more like look more like this I can definitely see this larger structure better. Um, it looks like like a water tower of some sort, or like a watchtower. And then also my main like large structure here as well is starting to look more like the shape that I keep seeing. And my non-surface structure is like really starting to look more of like, a, like an airplane or a jet of some sort. I can see like wings on it. Um, and then, like, last I can see like, one subject, only one, just standing in between these two towers. And I don't know about you, but to me, this looks like a, like a concentration camp. Um, concentration camp, uh, or like a military base. like the watchtower and just looking down on this and the, the occasional airplane in the sky. Now I'm gonna move up about a thousand feet so I can really see like what this place looks like. Okay, so from a thousand feet up, um, really it's just, I see gold, browns, whites. Um, I see this non-surface structure and these structures and the open rocky land around it. I see nothing. Like there's nothing here. <laughs> And even in like, you know, a mile in each direction, let's see. Like in a mile to the right, it's just open land and this structure. And, you know, a mile to the left, it's still just open land and, and the structure that I get, I don't, Yeah, I literally see nothing here other than this right here. This is all I see here. Land and these structures and planes in the sky. So now I'm going to move to the center of the target. And at the center of the target, all I see is like this um, yellow over everything, like yellow brown, gold, and it kind of feels like uh, like chalky and rocky and it smells like, like, like gravel or dirt, you know, and like, I see this, I see the structure and there's just subjects in the structure, 
they're not doing anything. Um, and I, nothing's happening here. <laughs> like, there's just nothing going on here. It's, it, I feel like I'm here in an empty space, an open land where there's like a couple of structures, a subject or two, no one's doing anything, and there's a couple of planes in the sky. And you know, that's really all I'm getting for target 33219135. I feel like I wasted so much time at a place where like nothing's happening, to go somewhere where nothing's happening. There's n nothing, nothing, you know, amazing. It's just there. It's just here. There you have it. We have determined without any doubt on our part that the Denver International Airport is an airport. Our remote viewers, working solo and under totally blind and controlled conditions, have witnessed non-surface structures land on it on a regular basis. It is true. Moreover, there are hidden areas underneath that airport, areas where things are stored. There are cabinets and containers in those areas, and they look very much like janitorial containers or lockers. Hazmat suits, possibly compressed or collapsed, may be in some of those lockers. The places are often dark, and it is highly probable that the lights are turned off in many of those locations for significant periods of time. As you know, we at Farsight are not shy about revealing hidden mysteries, mysteries that the powers that be simply do not want you to know about. We dig things up, we find things out, and we rattle the world in unseen ways. But sometimes mysteries are not so mysterious. The Denver International Airport is indeed an airport, and honestly, I wish we had found out something nefarious was going on at the airport. If it makes anyone feel any better, Princess still believes that there is something weird about that airport. You never know. Well, that is it for this month's edition of Time Cross. Thank you so much for watching. Also, I hope you get a chance to watch our recent mysteries project, Moses Beyond Exodus, one of our most amazing projects ever. And please remember to watch some of our other mysteries projects, such as The War in Heaven, and also Tunguska Complexity, Remote Viewing Area 51, The Roswell UFO Crash, the investigations into the 9-11 events, the assassinations of John F. Kennedy and Martin Luther King, the psychology of Adolf Hitler, and some amazing explorations into UFOs and extraterrestrial life. As always, all Farsight remote viewing work is done by highly trained remote viewers working solo under totally blind conditions with no communication between any of the remote viewers. So Farsight projects are nothing short of amazing and there is nothing like it anywhere else. And remember that when you watch our mysteries projects, you are helping us at Farsight do our work, including the funding for our Time Cross project, which we offer free to the public, but which costs us a few thousand dollars to do each month. So you really help us when you follow and watch our activities and research. Without you watching our projects, we would not exist. Finally, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Farsight Press, to keep up with the latest. You can find information about all of our present and past activities on our website. Also on our website, please sign up for our free email newsletter where we announce all of our major projects. The email newsletter is actually one of the best ways to keep up with all of our activities. Stay ahead of the curve. Let the mainstream fade in the dust. Be there now.